Did you hear already that you can take data from your Google Search Console, connect to Google BigQuery, and create your custom dashboard in Looker Studio based on this data? I'll show you how. Hey, my name is Gala, I am a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gallery Reports, where I offer different services based on Google platform. So, let's go. Actually, there is an instructions and Google support, Google Search Console support, and I will use these instructions um, because I will need some details from here. Uh, first of all, uh, you should register your Google Search Console account and uh, uh, Google Cloud, where we big, uh, with BigQuery. Let's check if we have uh, access, uh, we have uh, enable BigQuery API. Uh, for that, I click to this burger, I go to API and services uh, and enable API and services. Here we just check that we have everything that we need. Uh, then we can click enable IPs and services and check here BigQuery. BigQuery, we need two of them, BigQuery API and BigQuery Storage API. So, BigQuery API is here, I just click, and uh, in my case, it's already API enabled. If it is not, it will look a bit different, I will show you. For example, I don't have this service, uh, so this you don't have, you will have enable um, button, you just click here and turn it on. Turn it turn it on. Um, here I can manage it, I can click to manage, and I will have... Um, another window where I can disable API. So again, which APIs do I need? I need BigQuery API and BigQuery, BigQuery API and BigQuery Storage API, these two guys. If you're not, show, uh, if you're not sure and you don't remember, uh, in the Google article you can see this in point B. So we checked that we enable our API, BigQuery APIs. Uh, uh, next moment, we need to grant access to Google Search Console to our BigQuery. How to do that? Again, we go to navigation menu. We have I am and admin, and uh, we can click here. Mm, after that, you will see this window with list of users who has access to your project. Um, I have access only to uh, the, my this account has access only to one project, so I don't have uh, any choice here. But no, I have several. But okay, so you select project that you or, that you want to grant access and um, add your new user. How to do it? If you scroll down, you will see a list of users, and just click to grant access. And here you need to add Google Search Console email address. This is impossible to remember, that is why I opened the, uh, this article actually, because in this article you can find this uh, email address in point 4, point C, you can find this email address, search console data export. This is service account, service Google account, so you just copy this email address and add it here. Uh, I already have it. So, uh, because I will not save, uh, but you add this account here and you need to assign two roles, BigQuery um, data editor and job user. BigQuery data editor and BigQuery job user. These two roles. If you will not see it, you will not see it by default here. You type it here, BigQuery and uh, select from the list. Oh, yeah, Google Cloud has millions of different roles, so you can basically copy this from Google support. After that, so you add email, you select role and click save. Um, I did it already some time ago, so I have this row here. I have this, I added this Google Search Console account. After that, we go to Google Search Console uh, we can do it only from admin email, from only from email owner. O we can do it only from owner of the Google Search Console property. So I register my Google Search Console from this account. That is why I can do it. If you have like even edit access, you cannot do it. Uh, it's 
yeah, it's Google rule. So you scroll left sidebar and find settings. Here in general settings, you will have bulk data export. I already have it active, but you will not have it active. So uh, you will have some window to set up. Uh, you need to set up Google Cloud ID, Google Project ID, uh, where you can take it. You go to Google Search Console, or you go to Google Cloud. You can click to your project on the top, and here you see ID, and you just basically can copy this ID. So this is a project where you want to cop to pull your Google Search Console data. Then uh, data set name, I use Search Console, uh, but you can use other one. Uh, it's, I'll show you. Mm, BigQuery, BigQuery. I will show you what do I mean. So this is my project and I have, I have Search Console. So this is a data set where I, uh, my Search Console data is storage, storage, and uh, the, this we set up the name of the folder and data set location and live in Europe. So for me, it's nice to have uh, the same time zone for my data set. Basically, that is it. And next day, uh, you will have query works like um, my query works uh, once per day and pull data from Google Search Console, raw data to BigQuery. Uh, for example, at night, uh, it will pull data for previous period, but I want to notice that it doesn't has data from yesterday. So I, if if I remember, it has data like two or three, three four days before today. So the last day today is twenty sixth of January. So probably the last day will be twenty first or twenty two of January. So this is the moment about uh, search console data, and you will have uh, we have log. Uh, where we can see what happens. So, yeah, you see just my, like how script worked. And I have two tables here, search data site impressions and site URL that we can query. And um, But it is not one table. You see it's a group of tables. So we can query in new tab. Um, everything uh, where date is... Um, run um, where date more than 1st of January for example and this is our table um, basically that is, that is it what I wanted to tell you and then you can connect uh, these data sources you can create you can create some common data source, you can query uh, query this data and prepare a view or table for Looker Studio and use your raw Google Search Console data for your Looker Studio dashboard. I think it's really cool. I set up it in September, I think, for myself, for my website. Um, and yeah, I started to collect this data. Mm, that is it what I wanted to tell you. Let me know if you have more questions about this topic or about Looker Studio or Google Sheets. I will try to answer record new videos. Hope you like this video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe to my channel and talk to you soon.